Outrage tonight over an assault on our right to free speech. Former Congressman Tom Toncredo was to speak at the University of North Carolina, but instead his speech on illegal immigration was violently overrun by leftist protesters. Lisa Sylvester reports. Demonstrators gathered to protest a speech by former U.S. Congressman Tom Tancredo. He was speaking out against illegal immigration to a crowd of 150 people at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He was invited by a newly formed student organization called Youth for Western Civilization that opposes what it calls radical multiculturalism on university campuses. But when the protesters tried to enter the building, security said no because the room was at capacity. According to campus police, the dissenters continued to push forward and did not leave even after verbal warnings. The police dispersed pepper spray into the air. A security spokesman said one of the officers activated a taser, but it was not directed at any specific person. Watch what happens here. Two minutes into Tancredo's talk, two women stand up with a banner and disrupt his speech. Constitutional protection. Seconds later, someone breaks a window. At that point, Tancredo's speech is called off. He later said that while the protesters had a right to free speech, so did he. You can do it under the law, you can do it with respect, and everybody walks away happy. Uh, you know, the people who want to be protesting, they get to protest. They to hold it, can hold up their sign and, you know, I get to say what I need to say and the people who came to hear me get to hear me. The university's chancellor sent out a letter to students saying, quote, there's a way to protest that respects free speech and allows people with opposing views to be heard. Here, that's often meant that groups protesting a speaker have displayed signs or banners silently expressing their opinions while the speaker had his or her say. That didn't happen last night. On behalf of our university community, I called Mr. Tancredo today to apologize for how he was treated. There were no injuries and so far no arrests have been made, but an investigation by campus police is underway. And the chancellor says criminal charges will be pursued if they are warranted. The Division of Student Affairs is also investigating student involvement. Kitty? Thanks very much, Lisa Sylvester.